Well, hello to my Bible reading friends. Um, I just wanted to get on real quick and talk about something that happened this morning. And it seems to happen more and more often as I've been reading the Bible every day. And that's that when I'm praying, when I'm meditating, when I'm trying to find some answers, a Bible verse will just pop up. Um, and it's it's it truly feels like God just speaking to me. And today that happened when I was thinking about loss. Uh, it seems like there are so many people experiencing one form of loss or another these days. And maybe, maybe I'm just noticing it more, but um, a lot of loss with uh, the death of a loved one, a loss with the loss of health, good health, or the ability to um, do things that we once could do so easily or we had so easily, um, the loss of stability in our world. I think there's a sense of fear, um, and I know a lot of that has to do with a, a huge election coming up in another week, um, but there are a lot of things going on in the world that are concerning. And I think we're all feeling a little unsteady with that and a sense of loss that we don't have that security that we once had. And so I was giving all that to God today, and this Bible verse uh, popped up from 2 Corinthians chapter 12. And a little background, it's the Apostle Paul talking about um, his, he has a thorn <laughs> in his flesh, a thorn that, metaphorically speaking, he has some problems. <laughs> and he's asked God to take them away, to do something with them, to help him. Uh, three times he did that and evidently got nothing but silence back. Uh, God was not answering his prayer. But he kind of does a 180 on this, and I think it gives us all a sense of hope. Uh, I know it did me when I read this. So let me read. I'm going to go on. From, uh, that was verse 8. I'm going to go to uh, chapter or verse, verse 9 through verse 10. But his answer was, my grace is all you need. For my power is greatest when you are weak. I am most happy then to be proud of my weaknesses in order to feel the protection of Christ's power over me. I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and difficulties for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Wow, doesn't that gives me so much hope today. Um, the, the, we don't expect this at all when we're feeling our most vulnerable, when we're afraid, when we just want God to take away these problems that are affecting our life um, and everything in it. And yet the Apostle Paul discovered through his weaknesses that he wanted removed too, that really when he just lets God take over, when he is weak, that's when God is doing God's greatest work. So I just want to give that to you for some encouragement today. If you're struggling, if you're struggling with the loss or just all the things that are going on in the world today, remember that, that God is doing God's greatest work right now in you. And it will get better. Thanks be to God. Have a great day. Take care.